you could just lose all the early fights because they're early damage. It's Somnus Leshrac versus the world right now. It, this, this closest bear looks very serious, like he's mean, he's ready. I mean, he's the drafter, so pay attention. We'll say he's one of Wind Crimson or whatever have you, just stuff that allows the team to sustain and keep this Lesh alive. Okay, you go for him. Yeah, mm. I, I would really like that. Some they can get a race area. pack, it makes their game a lot easier in these team fights. So I did say it was the most boring lane, apparently moving across. Meanwhile, bottom lane, Toby, still being harassed out by Xnova, but here comes the turnaround from Kataomi and Toby, they'll just work together on the bitch with the Frost Shield, it's just so much damage reduction, they'll move it into the Avalanche, they will find the TB, Rudd goes, the Fisher is there, Toby, he is going to drop, it's not a good trade whatsoever, I mean, you've got Xnova, but you've got a cliff here on the bottom side. Toby will just get to work, and you've got the familiars there. So it's not going to take too long to get this T1 tower down. But again, X rather Chalice is already pushing that top T1 for an even trade. That bottom lane, who they got? It's going to be Kaka on the Earth Shaker. He does get picked off here by Kataomi. Does end up going down very easily. It's not the biggest kill in the world. It does still open up this bot tower partial. They're down mid. And yeah, we've got Fishman. Stun will land. They'll find the A. A decent well back, so at the very least, they won't see anyone that kind of wants to sneak around. And they're going to be able to protect that too. They can't have Toby though. They do it mid lane. Toby just going to drop on the Brewmaster all alone. And you are trying to buy some space out here. For your liking, yes, that is giving some space. Fishman. Not the biggest kill in the world, but they'll take it, it seems, as Kaka will continue, even popping the Echo Slam. Just in case, just in case he was going to juke them out, he'll just RNG. Smoke just four, moving their way down towards the bottom side. They're going to find the Visage. That's a big target, but they will not connect with the Pit of Malice. Stormstormer with some very good micro. Now Kataomi from the backside with a nice avalanche into the Ice Blast onto Chalice. But where's your follow-up damage? It's not there yet. They'll chase down Somnus on the last track, but he's going to be just fine. In fact, Kaka, he's coming in from the backside. But who are they aiming? Kaka in trouble is going to drop on the Earth Shaker. His X Nova now is completely surrounded and will also go down. In fact, Chalice still trying to tank up. But they're off to Somnus. Somnus, he's a Giga Chat. He might be able to fight back, but not quite. They've got so much damage. But even Ghost showing up at the last seconds of the team fight needs to back his way out. And he will. But it's still a massive. Sanj into the Scotty here just to have a little bit more stats. You still have this blink threat from Parker eventually coming through a lot. X Nova in big trouble. The familiars again landing perfectly. They'll need to let X Nova die. Kataomi looking for a bit more, but doesn't have the spells to throw out. Which can to have once that axe is up as well. It, it'll just force even more out of RNG Sakan. More investment. Oh Somnus, they're gonna find Toby. They'll drop the Echo Slam and Toby's gone. Because they just weren't expecting the rotation from Somnus. Did have that up. Uh, with a blink up. He can kind of set that up, set that up for his team. The side of NTT though, again, they're, they're not lagging too far behind. Fairly even game, six to six. Two K leads. Oh, oh, man. Man. Right about a break out, the Wolf Form was popped here by Purus, he will try to rush forward, he would love Somnus, it's a massive pick off, Kaka, he'll cop the Ice Blast at Somnus, he's the real target, where's the help, he's popped the Bloodstone, trying to survive, in comes the Dark Portal, now a nice Fisher, Kaka, he may have saved the day, but Somnus is still dropping, may eventually go down as Toby, he's trying to get the work done, but where's the damage output, Somnus, he's gonna survive on the last track, they don't have enough to finish the job off, Somnus, how does he walk out of it? He's alive! It's Kataomi, he's the one to drop! Chalice, he makes it just in the nick of time and they keep going for more now! Fishman, also being, being caught out on the AA, he is gonna go down! Oh, it, it's, you have some answers on hand. Like the AA can make it a little bit more annoying to hold on to your life for this under. Oh. And they go again. Kaka gonna find Kataomi. So they do at least find themselves to support Tiny. Not the biggest deal in the world, but perhaps they could think about Roshan. It's not, this Leshrac will still have free reign. And Stomus is going for his own BP. He's really not going to care about the jumps in. He's not going to care about the Brewmaster splitting apart. He's trying to hold him off. Oh, Echo Slam top lane. They do end up finding Stormstormer. He's fine for now, however, in Frick Kaka. He's the one getting targeted with the Ice Blast, with the Cold Feet, but he's going to be just fine. In fact, now Chalice, he's being targeted. Trying to go through the Dark Grid, through the portal, but they're just stunning him up. He's still a very tanky target. Chalice is still trying to go through the door, but it's just closing on him. They will not let the man go through. Go for, but it's not going to be that easy to take him down with the Aegis up. Meanwhile, on the backside, Entity on the other side of things in the Radiant Jungle, hanging around, sending Toby's remnants in. 
In they go, Kataomi is there with the Avalanche and the toss-up Somnus. He'll get the BKB up in time. Still perfectly healthy, but is he really? The Millie's, oh boy, he's down. Kaka, he tried to go for the Echo Slam, but it does not help in the end, and he's dropped as well. There's just so much damage now flying out from Entity. So they've got the Chain Frost down onto the Underlord. That's going to be another, as Chalice just cannot get away. They just melt. That was really split up from RNG and Entity were in a really good spot, just holding that high ground very well. We're going mid lane again, this could be another great team fight. If Entity can find a way to try and force this as Ghost. Still hanging around. Doesn't have the Aegis this time around and could be in big, big trouble. They do make the jump in. Kataomi is there with the Avalanche Toss and now the Ice Bus to fly through. He's copping a fair bit. Ghost, what do you do about this one? He'll go for the Sunder. Meanwhile, on the backside, Pure. He's been caught out. X Nova holds him down. They just burst him down on the Lycan. So this time around, Entity getting a little bit to make their way over to that Radiant Triangle. Ghost is going to show himself. Fisher is committed just on the familiars, trying to burst them down, but Ghost, he does get caught out. Ice Blast and a big avalanche is out. Kataomi setting up perfectly. Chalice is in big trouble here on the Underlord. He might just drop and does. Meanwhile, Ex Nova getting chased down, but will be left alone. So instead, they'll go after Kaka on the Earth Shaker. That'll be another as Ghost now. It's completely surrounded. How does he survive this one? It doesn't seem like he can, though. Chalice does try to move him, but it's not in time. They are falling like flies here, the side of RNG. As Entity, they will just keep moving forward. Somnus still trying to fight, does go man up against Pure. In fact, that's a lot of damage from Somnus. He's got one down and another. He's found Pure on the Lycan. Somehow RNG still managed to find a way to fight back, and it's off the back of Somnus. Try and fight the side of RNG for quite a long time. It's doing a good job of trying to avoid them all together, but Storm Stormer. Gonna move in as the the vision of the familiars as well as the wolves coming out with fewer. They're gonna find Ghost on the TB and they will slowly start to move in. Ghost kind of surrounded here. Does get tornadoed up. Pure. He'll pop the wolf form. Who are they gonna target down first? On the top side, they found X Nova. They found Kaka. Both supports in trouble. X Nova already got it. Now Kaka just drops to the damage of Pure. It's just so much damage as Somnus needs to back out. The BKB is wearing off. He does get nullified. Ghost, he's gonna try and man fight through this, but can he really do it? It seems like he'll try. Toby will back out. They will lose Fishman, however. That's the AA down. That's at least one down for the side of RNG, but Entity, they do fire back. In fact, RNG, they will not stick around. Somnus, he's going to be just fine. Pure, can't get the damage off. So it's really just a two now Bursting someone down, definitely going to help the class there. A Lincoln's coming out from Somnus to help defend himself, especially from Nullifiers. It's going to be really nice to have as well. It's a little bit more for that to be up, though. Oh boy, they've got Chalice, that's a big one, but he does BKB up and back now, the Pit of Malice turning right back around, Toby, he's a big target, he'll be able to force stuff away though, and does get the Primal Split off, as now Ghost, he'll be targeted here with the toss back of Kataomi, but Ghost is still fine, he will get four stuff out of there, meanwhile x Nova being chased down by the units of Pure, in the backside though, they've got an Echo Slam, they've got the Sunder, Pure being gazed up, can they get some revenge here, they cannot, he is still just fine, Chalice is the one to go down with the Underlord, but Ghost still trying to man up, still trying to fight against Toby. Toby will force Snuff away. Where's the team fight? Entity, it seems like they're out once Chalice again. Fight. This could be the big team fight we've been waiting for as Entity. Get them so many ways of scouting out. Not so much through this smoke, but now that the smoke is broken on a couple, who have they found? It's going to be Storm Stormer. The Pit of Malice to lock him down. The Fish is there to follow up, and in comes Kataomi and X-Nova. He just gets deleted by the support Tiny. As he keeps moving forward, goes, who do we go for? Storm Stormer, he's the target. They finally find the Fish or maybe oh. not Storm Stormer. He's still running, but X-Nova, he's trying to get the job done himself, and eventually Ghost will find it. Two down, Entity. They've lost a couple here, and it seems like RNG have finally cracked an opening open for themselves as Kaka, he even oh, finds hard. another. He's going to find Toby, but there is going to be the refresh. To the Primal Split once again. Toby's still blocked off by the Fisher, and now Ghost can get right to work, but they want that Earth Panda. They need it. The slow from the eye of Scotty. Maybe they've got it. Oh, Toby Bobby. trying to rob, but it's not going to make it out. No buyback on him. No buyback on Toby. And suddenly the game is swinging back the other way.
while still behind his RNG. Sure, you're one racks up now, but you could lose one team fight and the game could just snowball back the other way. Though I say that, Buer does get oh. caught out. He's the biggest target. The Gaze is going to lock him down, drag him out the Katomi. He's got the time back on the lift. So X Nova, he's down for 80 seconds. In goes Buer with the Wolf Ball, but he needs to run away his Kaka. Looking for the chase, waiting for the BKB, but now the Fisher oh. is going to lock him down. Somnus shot out the damage and will eventually get it out. Pure's down for 100, but he does have buyback. He can come back in. He's not. They haven't really been using the uh, Fiend's Gate for any aggressive movement out. More defensive, but they'll get to it. Get away, about Ghost. Just going to get right to work. The bot tier 3 tower already gone. Bottom racks, not going to last long either. Tadahomi is going to jump in, though. Avalanche tosses out. Ghost is in big trouble. He got Sans, and he will go down the first time. But he's got the Aegis, he's got the refresh, he's still got the oh, initial meta, but the Sans is there with another fire! Oh my god! Oh, Ghost is gone! And the rest of RNG, they need a way out of this team fight. Chalice just leaves, but he's left by himself. Somnus needs to TP out on the tree line. With the BKB, he is gonna be alright. But they've got Ghost down. Small he got does... here though, could find themselves in an interesting spot. Oh boy, here we go. RNG, they have time for something. They found Toby. The root is there. They should have follow up. You don't have the burst damage though with the Aeon Disc. He's going to be just fine to reinitiate this team fight with his own primal split. But they are trying to back off a cut to Homie. Look at the damage output oh, from geez. this tiny with the tree volley. He does at least fight Karka, but the buyback is there. Ghost now is trying to force the fight once again, but doesn't need to back out. It just doesn't seem like the one. So the BKB does wear off, and now Entity, they keep moving forward. They want the Terror Blade. They've got it locked down. With the Abyssal Blade, Ghost is in big trouble. He's going to try and find a way to buy back. He'll go for the Terror Wave, but it does nothing through the BKB. This is not the team fight. RNG needs to get back to the high ground and will do so. Yeah, probably the longest game of the day already. 65 minutes in, 66 oh. minutes in for day one. Ooh. And there goes X Nova. He's not going to last long against a support tiny, but in comes Ghost trying to punish as he cannot. In fact, now Ghost, he's the one turned off. That's a bad position. Somnus, he shot them though with a massive split up. And now Chalice, he's there with the pit of malice as well. Trying to burst them down. The familiar is the visage. He's in big trouble. Karkar's out with the echo slam. Maybe they've got it up and they do. Stormstorm has got but Somnus. He will drop as well off the Toby. The Aeon Disc is going to prop into the primal split. They go. X Nova, he pulls back into the team fight he'll back his way out at least for now and it's gonna be just fine it's another reset fight yeah it's just back to the start buybacks expended by both signs i've seen i've seen my own share of mid luches top lane christine certainly is look at that damage from that tree body just bursting down 2.3k damage is now they make the jump in somnus in trouble and they toss him they burst him down just so quickly pure he has the damage storm stormer trying to back his way up but now it's ghost that's in trouble and they surround him pure he's looking for more on the backside he's found karka on the earth shaker no four stuff away this time through the normal by the chalice trying to buy a bit of time but karka's gone pure going for more now somnus keep in mind he has no buyback available for this fight where's ghost all by himself still trying does end up getting the terror wave off just as he can type to force them back but he's gonna find a target that be aimed down toby will move in now with the block on he's copying way too much damage but the sunder is there in time ghost try for the tp and is gonna make it oh. just barely this game is not over yet, but it is a 4v5 situation, and they are losing. Yeah, it's, like, uh, it's, it's already hard to understand whatever is going on here. Yeah, so he's a wolf right now, Don. That's a very, very scary predicament if he does make the jump in with that swift link. Let's see how it works out for them. They're going to try and defend high ground here, RNG. In they go, Kakaomi. Oh. He's in, but the Aeon Disc is going to save X Nova. He'll be back out of there. That goes. He's the one move in. They found Pure. Oh, no, Mike and Pure's in trouble, and he's gone. At least the first time. That's just the age of the tree falling. He's gonna fly but pure. Casually walk out as they do cyclone up the TV once again. Ghost can not get to work, but now they found at least Fishman on the AA. Ghost lost the BKB up, but he's gonna be just fine to take the AA down. And they hold on to the top racks. This is quite literally defense of the A. This is what defense of the ancients is, John. They are defending. Yeah, but we're not even at the ancient. We're still. Toby. 
Could be in a danger. RNG trying to move in into that mid lane. There's two big targets. If they can make the jump, Somnus is there with the scythe device to get started. Hit of Malice goes trying to move in with the tree volley damage. You've got to be wary, but he has the Sunder. He'll reset. Back in onto the fist as they go. Stormstormer is going to be able to back his way out. Now with the, without the BKB ghost, he's going to be so careful. It's in the backside. Chalice is gone on the Underlord. Kaka, he'll go for a fish and try and hold them back, but they can't control this tiny. He's in that wolf form. In goes Pure as well. The Echo Slam. It literally does no damage. Just instantly relocate multiple heroes back. Keep controlling Ghost. Keep controlling Somnus. And open up the high ground. Still, you drop the Pit of Malice. You drop the Split Earth. You drop the Firestorm. A push just doesn't happen. No, it doesn't. That's what we're trying to they got. It looks like Somnus on the left track has been caught out, but he'll be KB up. He'll survive. His Ghost will go for the Terror Wave. He's going to be just fine. Hasn't popped the real metamorphosis. Still has refresh anyway. I, I suppose if you enter these, surely you're just going to keep chipping away. I mean, you've got the Aegis up, you've got to keep going. And that they will. Yeah, still, again. Now, hit a mouse out, Sonnets. Oh, here we go again. Ghost just brings him right into the center of all this, dealing with the units. Stormstormers familiars are just going to nod through this. It's one of the rulings from Toby. He'll keep sending them in, trying to get the damage out. It's a slow chip away. That's all they got there on the bottom side. It looks like Stormstormer was caught out there for a moment by the Pit of Malice. He's going to be just fine though. His entity still trying to move in onto the high ground. Just can't get it done though. The millions are being fit back the way of RNG. All lane, Toby, he gets spotted out though, Kaka, he's the one getting jumped here on the Earth Shaker, but he does have the Aeon Disc, meanwhile from the backside, Katahomi, he's got that tree volley in X Nova, he's gonna go down, but the immediate buyback is there as Ghost down, man's up against Pure, it's a lot of damage onto that light, but he backs his way out, and the Hex is out, Ghost is in big trouble, the Ice Blast will connect, and he is gone, but he does have buyback. They've still got the options here on RNG. Not going to immediately pop that I can't him, even you though, can't kill. No, I'd say I want to say eight or nine, but I can't be sure. Refresh out on Toby just to ensure they take this next Roche, no problems. RNG though, smoke up. Close by. They're going to try. They don't want to let this Roshan go down. Toby and Pure. Well. Round. Oh no, they're ending. They're ending. Oh, they are ending. Oh, they're going for the ancient. RNG's going to get away with it. They go. RNG, can they get it done? The clip is there. They are moving back to rotate back in. This could be the play of the century as RNG. They're trying. X Nova in big trouble. That pure should drop. Meanwhile, Somnus still going. Points. In the meantime, goes. He's had enough. He's popping his BKBs right up to the ancient. He goes. But he couldn't drop. sunder. He couldn't sunder. Oh, he couldn't sunder. Yeah, they are not going to be able to end. Oh, what man. in the hell am I watching? That's what you want to see. You take the risk, you try to go in. I mean, tier fours are down. They're playing defense of the Ancients now, and Entity's in. They have to defend. There's a Divine Ray on the gone from Ghost. Not going to be hitting as hard. They haven't managed to hold on to buyback though, across this entire time. Back into the bot racks they go, Entity. And they are, they are really trying to get this racks finally down, but Ghost has respawned. They do at least find the range racks. Ghost has bought a death when they're going. Oh, they're going to the Fire Ranger once again. He's got the rotation. They're going to try, but Ghost, he's got the terror wave. They're just going to man up through this. The Echo's not being committed. RNG, have they gone too far? Or are they going to be able to make it? It doesn't seem like it. They are going to drop. Once again, they will go down. They've got buybacks available, though. Oh this game God. is not over yet. Ah, uh, it ain't over till it's over. It ain't over until the Ancient falls over, and neither side is any closer. That I end on the end, not done. Back towards that poor racks they go. They want the Mega Creeps up. Entity, they are gonna find it. Kaka, he's in with the fish shot. One lane of barracks now left for Entity trying to aim for him. That's the top side, but they're going for the tier 4 towers. They've had enough of this game. They're onto the Visage, though. They could have him. Stormstormer, he's in big trouble. Somnus will keep moving forward. Stormstormer, though, he does go into that stone form. He'll survive for now. Is RNG. They will go for a reset. Or do they? Back in off the Stormstormer, they go. They want the Visage. They've got him down. But he's got buyback. He can rejoin the team fight if necessary. But now, no need. RNG, go anyway. So, uh, if you don't see the Axe Blessing being denied, does it really disappear? 
very quick question on the bot lane. The great question is can Sunless survive through this one? But now at least he can, just trying to walk his way up. But he's surrounded at once the ethereal ends. He is down. In goes down to X Nova. Oh. Trying to chase down the Lich. A nice fish alert from Kark. I'm going to make sure he's fine. X Nova still fine. Pit of Malice is out into the chain frost. They just want to make sure Toby can't keep chasing back Toby. Dropping so far low to this chain frost. When does it end? It won't be enough in the end. Toby's gonna be all right. You've got the or RNG if they manage to hold on somehow. And that's I don't know what to say. Oh, here we go. The three tower top lane still up. Goes still take care of it with the tear away. Just pushing back all the remnants. The Kataomi will go for a tree volley, but not gonna be able to get any damage off onto Ghost. Toby gonna move back in. Does find a T3 tower. So that's the T3 gone. Up to the racks they go. Got the mid lane to go through as well as Entity. Familiars getting the job done. Eventually, that is the ghost trying to slow them down the best he possibly can. It's out early on. Indeed, in goes the tiny, though the hex is out into the fissure and now the chain frost for Kataomi. He does have a BKB up, so he's going to be just fine. Back his way up. On to the top racks they go. They do get hit in Mount stuff. Just everyone being rooted here by Chalice. Ice Blast is going to fly through onto Ghost, but there's going to be no follow up. They just want the Megas. Onto Pure though. He does get caught on the left side. The refresh is there by Somnus, but it leads to nothing. Is now Kataomi. He does move in onto Toby. Onto that Brewmaster. Can they take him down? Not quite. Aeon Disc is there once again. No Toby. He is dropping low now. He might just drop and does, but he's got buyback. And I know Mega Creeps are up, it literally means nothing. No. And it's for it roughly 101 minutes now, so they should be pretty used to it on the side of RNG. So they are going to move in through the mid lane, see if they can try to force a fight against these Mega Creeps. Rather against the side of Entity with the Megas, and in they go. Ice Blast is there, Chalice going to be targeted. Here comes the Jennings Touch, it's a lot of damage for Chalice. He does have the Crimson Guard to protect us now, they move in onto Summoners with the Terra Wave. Goes to Zell, onto Kataomi, who'll try to focus him down, but the Wolf Form allows him to get away, as it seems like they need to try and reset. RNG, it's not the fight they wanted. They just can't lock him down long enough. In goes Pure though. On to X Nova. The Fisher was not there in time to block him off. X Nova still actually being left alone here by Pure. Instead, he sees Chalice on the Underlord. He'll abyssal blade him up. Chalice in huge trouble. Should drop surely. Eventually, as he gets surrounded and will go down. No buyback available on the Underlord. It's X Nova. He's going to go down to the Ice Blast of Fishman. We'll buy back immediately. The Axe Blessing getting denied off once again there by Toby. This does not like the being left alone. 60 seconds without Chalice, but buy back up in 3 seconds. So it's not really too big of an issue here for RNG. They are up against the Aegis, they're up against the Cheese, they're up against the Refresher Shards. So it's not that easy as Chalice. Immediately, no hesitation, will pop buy back. Not messing around, doesn't want to lose these tier 4 towers. The creeps are pushing in. Again, I mean, they've been patient for two hours now. They may as well keep being a little bit more patient. Cut the homie. The form is oh. there. Double damage rune. Avalanche toss back. They've got a big target on Chalice. They've got a tieback right now. Goes. He's going to try and jump in and save the day. Refresh is out. Terror Wave is out as well. Toby, he's the one to try. No buyback available. That was a dieback on the Brewmaster. They find more. It seems like for now they're going to hold because the creeps are moving into the base. Turns out the make creeps are in fact doing something, Jonathan. They don't have tier force to rip through here, Mike. Yeah. The ancient is exposed. It certainly is. They just need to keep that creep wave alive somehow. It certainly is. They've got the fiend's gate available if they want to try and abuse it. Parker, Micro Fisher gonna miss. Somnus, he's right in as well. In fact, it's ghost that we need to watch right on this TV. They've got to find down. That's two divine from the deck. Is this the turning point now? Because they found another. It's gonna be the Aegis down on the visage. He'll respawn very, very soon. Toby, he's still got no buyback. They're back up to Storm Stormer. They might just have him, and it seems like they do. He is gonna drop, but he does have buyback. Oh, this is just They're still going. Fishman, he's gonna drop a second time, but pure. He's gonna be all right to back his way out as Kataomi now getting oh. caught out. On the oh. tiny, he might drop to Boo, and he does. Pure, he does move back in. Chalice is gonna drop. That's two down with that buyback for the side of RNG. How do they do it now? Well, 
I mean, their, their tier fours are going to be under siege. Someone's got to go back and hold. None of their creep waves are shoved out. It's back to just having these mega creeps up, and we are now in the longest main stage game in TI history. They're turkey tailed up on Ghost now for the Sunder cooldown. And despite that win, because of the mega creeps, RNG are still stuck here. So they're gonna need to repeat that process again, Mike. Here we they go. need to knock him out one more time. Get started. Oh, They've got Ghost with a toss back. The TP official blade is out. He's gonna go down. He's got buyback. He'll come in immediately. It's gonna be a 4v3 situation. RNG are being trouble. The Somnus dropping low. Pops the block stone. Tries to run, but it's not gonna make it out. He'll buy back as well. This could be the opening though. Entity needed. If they can go off those T4 towers. They've got the mid creeps incoming. Ghost, he's gonna find a way to fight. Kaka. He's in with the Echo Slam, and the Fisher locks them down. Tear away Villa with the Wolf Form. It allows them to just keep running as Kanaomi still trying, trying to fight back. Storm Stormer, Tree Volley, everything through through the Ghost, but it's going to be a loss. The tieback is there. RNG are in huge trouble now. It's a 2v4 situation. Surely there is no way to defend this. The Somnus will try one last time, but it's over. Or is it? Uh, they paused the game at a very awkward time. Fisher's out, it's all over though, the big oh surround God. the ancient. DD is called eventually, Entity barely managed to do it. 107 minutes in, I, I don't know what else to say here, John. Oh, that, that's just insane, I don't think, the longest game in the main stage ever. And, my God, Entity, what, what an amazing game they played. But props to RNG as well. They held on when it just looked like they weren't able, they weren't supposed to. Yeah. But they hung on for so long. Like and time. Entity, I mean, yeah, <laughs> it just took way too long. But they do manage to ride on. And it's such a shame. This team has gone so far. They managed to fight against those odds really well. The handshake coming out. Yeah, yeah it's just such a shame. Yeah, 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 I, I thought they almost had it there, RNG, at the end as well. Like, just all over the place.